it is hard now to recall dates and events. Things carried on well into the late 60s. 1965, we took on a rough collie pup and we named him Lance. He grew into a great pet. A few years later, there was a storm during the night which sprung open and got his door somehow. We don't know how. Lance must have panicked and he went out and got lost. It was three days before he was found on a local farm three miles away. They found him on their doorstep. The owner informed us via the police. Jan went to collect him. He looked pitiful and he cried like a baby when, we, when he saw her. Lance lived to about 14 and it was a heartbreaking time for us when he died. He rests in the garden now where he always lay in the sun. During this time, made several garden designs. After the first layout, planted trees at the back, took out the French doors and fitted a patio door and laid, laid down paving. Many changes were made throughout the years to the present day. 1968, our first fine holiday to a beefer. And in those days, you would need to dress for dinner at hotels. I decided to have a suit made for the trip. Found a tailor, Amit Yusuf, in Birmingham. He had made suits for the Birmingham boxer, Johnny Prescott. And he went on to fame making a suit for Cassius Clay, as he was called then. Found out recently he'd just retired at 83, after 63 years. Well, we had a great time in Aviva, but I only have two photographs, one of us at the barbecue and another in the suit at dinner. This stirred up the travel bug in us both. And the 70s brought big changes to all our lives, from the pocket-sized calculators, floppy disks, VCRs, Walkman music players, disposable lighters, colour TVs and of course the computer. Due to doing a lot of miles of work, changed my car every two years. Traded the imp for the second hand Singer Gazelle, a good car but very heavy on petrol. Traded that in for the new green Vauxhall Viva Estate. Now have you heard the saying, green is an unlucky colour for a car? Which proved to be true, was the only car we'd had an accident with, well, Jan did. Don't tell her. She was hit by a lorry and very lucky not to be hurt. Later changed to a Fiat 124 and then a Fiat 128. Wanted something a little better, so I bought a Triumph Dolomite. Now that was a car. During the 70s, did more foreign holidays Majorca, Minorca, Benidorm, Jeslo, Italy, Austria. The 80s took us travelling all over the world. It had all started in 1980, by taking that trip to the USA with Thompson Holidays on their first tour of the scenic west. It was to be a trip of a lifetime. I had always been a keen photographer. For this trip wanted something which would bring it all to life, so thought make a movie. But home movies I had seen up to then didn't inspire me. It was pure luck that we were invited to watch a movie Harold next door in that done. Well, I was impressed. He had sound and titles and stuff. Because I was really interested, he lent me a movie camera for our trip. Gave me instructions what to do and what not to do. The trip to the USA was fantastic and we wanted more. On return, I did the film together. The film I'd taken was all silent. I needed to put sound on. I tried running sound from a tape recorder with the film, but no success, could not keep it in sync. The only option I had was to get the film sound, put, put a, a strip, strip on the side of the film. This had to be done by adding a strip of magnetic tape onto the edge of the film to enable me to record on it. After making inquiries, sent it to a stand Britain who was offering this service. After a few days, he rang me, saying he was impressed with my footage, especially as I'd told him I'd never took movie before. 
and invited me to his house and I met his wife Olive. He'd been making movies for years and was very good at it. Stan introduced us to another two couples, all keen in making movies, Derek and Anne, Alan and Mavis. We was asked to join them and that made eight of us, so we formed Dad's Eight Film Club. This led to a long lasting friendship and the new social life of Jan and I. At home, set up a screen behind the curtains, which opened as the film started. Must have spent a fortune over the years on all this gear. We would meet up once a month at our homes, each taking it in turn for dinner, followed by the films that we had made. Stan had been a musician and served in the entertainment corps with Spike Milligan and others during the war. Derek ran his own company called Duran Film Services in Dudley. He had met Walt Disney and other film company directors to be given the rights to edit and cut down major films of the day into small versions for the collectors. This was his main visit, visit business until video took over. Hallen had a printing company and he designed our badge and printed our programs for our nights. So the movie maker was born in me. Spent many hours in, in those days cutting frames out of films and putting it together, adding music and sound effects. Jan did the commentaries. And so it went on. I'd got my own movie camera now, so set to go. Did a fly drive to Florida, 1981. Lynn next door joined us. Toured all of Florida. Great experience. Found it was very easy to drive in the US and drop into a motel. Having done these trips independently, we got to know the best prices and places to stay. We used a Motel 6. They did have all the things you needed except a coffee shop, but there was always one next door. This saved us a lot of money. We were brought up on Westerns on TV. The three of us decided, let's go to Arizona, see the canyons and the old Western towns and film sets. This trip was really a great experience. After this, did nearer to home holidays, Portugal, to Italy with Jan's dad, ancient Greece with Lynn, Orion Cruise, Crete, some of these we did more than once. It was to be 1987 before the next big trip. Thanks for watching.